Hey, Doc. Dr. Kleiner. Look who's here. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Doc, someone here to meet you. What is it, Barney? Another fugitive? You can't keep dragging in every stray... You... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought that would get your attention. Is, is it really? I just... Gordon Freeman! I had given up hope. It is Gordon, isn't it? And why... Why on earth did you bring him here, Barney? If they follow him here, my work is ruined. It's okay, Doc. Relax. So far, we haven't set off any alarms, so we should keep moving. Well, if you say so, but I really think this is most unwise. It could jeopardize not only Gordon's mission, but years of my research. Don't mind him, Gordon. We've all been on edge. I... I do apologize, Gordon. Of course, I'm delighted to see you. Absolutely delighted. You look a bit pale, but nothing like... My God, Barney, they'll be scouring the city. Are you sure it's worth the risk? Just get him in a suit and I could give him off to Eli's. Eli's? But Dr. Mossman has been waiting for him. Oh, and how is that supposed to work exactly? I'll have to call her right away. I'm sure she'll think of something. I must say, it's unfortunate they couldn't have found a way to deliver you directly to Kraken Base. It's extremely secure. Look, Doc, Eli's place is a hell of a lot closer. I'm not taking him in the civvies, either. Excellent point. Yes, the sooner you're suited up, the better. Let's brush the dust off the old outfit, shall we? I expect you'll be pleased to see this after your hazardous journey. I can't vouch for the carbonation, but still there's a choice of diet or regular. Knock it off, Doc. I just thought Gordon might be a bit parched. You were an odd Doc. Here you go. Gah, get that thing away from me! Lamar, there you are. Oh, I thought you got rid of that past. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst you might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. <sighs> Here, my pet. Up, up, up. No, not up there. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Maybe I can convince her to stay longer. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see you've slipped into your HEV suit. I've made a few adjustments, but still in all, it should be the suit you remember. Let's familiarize you with the basic functions, and we can be on our way. Now, over here you will see a collection of charging mechanisms. We have enabled the HEV suit to draw power from a variety of common combine charging systems using a standard UDC interface. This will allow you to avail yourself of the same devices utilized by the Metro Police and Combine Military. So always look for the Combine label. At any rate, power up your suit and we'll move on to health practices. Very good. Now, the same interface is often useful in treating injuries. If you come across a combine automatic like this one, you seem to be slightly fatigued. Why don't you go ahead and administer some healing agents as well? Go ahead, Gordon. Try out the automatic. That ought to make you feel much better. Okay, gang. Time's a-wasting. I'm gonna need to send out word to Eli so we can smooth the way for Gordon to get out of town. I told you, Barney. I intend to solicit Dr. Mossman's advice. I doubt she'll approve of sending him into the wilderness as much as I agree he would be safer outside the city. Look, Doc, I don't tell you how to conduct your experiments, 
so don't tell me how to run my operation. Ordinarily, I would agree. But Gordon is a special case. We can't just send him into the wilderness with a sharpened stick and our best wishes. He needs to go somewhere his education can be put to good use. Now, let's proceed, shall we? This way, Gordon. sequence right now. Well, I think you'll agree this is critical as well. I'm standing here with my old protege, Gordon Freeman. Are you kidding me? Freeman? What's he doing there? Well, it's a bit of a mystery, actually. You're telling me he's in City 17? That's the worst place he could be. It was a surprise to me as well, I assure you. Tell her I'll smuggle him out to Eli's place. Ah, we were wondering if Eli's colony might not be the best place for him right now. As my man here points out, it has the advantage of being much more accessible than Kraken. Accessible? You mean vulnerable? They'll be crawling all over those rocks if the Combine gets wind of him? No, we need to get him down here where it's safe and I can put him to work. Eli's facilities are too primitive to make use of him. They're more suited to mechanics than research scientists. No, just port him over. I'll clear the receiver for the transmission. But Doc, the last time you tried this... I've made major strides since then, Barney. Major strides. I'm telling you, we should be heading for Eli's. His teleport is still in pieces. You've got no way to get there except on foot. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Well, Gordon, since it appears Barney would rather call you a taxi cab than trust us in our area of expertise. All right, all right, Doc. But I gotta tell you, I got a bad feeling about this. Excellent. All set, Barney? Yeah, except this gnawing certainty of doom. No, no, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's see, the massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to CY base, an LG orbifold, the Hilbert inclusive. Barney, there's a little dial with a nameplate under it that says Yokawa. Can you please read me that number? Uh, 9973793.37. Are, are you writing this down? That's not necessary. Just checking for potential moduli interference in the interstices. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time, to that poor cat. Let's not dwell on our mishaps, shall we? Initializing in three, two, one. We're not out of the woods yet. Ah, warming up nicely. I'll be damned. Ready any time, Doctor. Stage two. Barney, please throw the switch. I can't bear to look. Final sequence. I've got this one. Don't hurry on my behalf. It's all you, Doc. Now! Well, well. I confess, I'm a bit surprised that actually worked. I guess Kleiner is farther along than I thought. Welcome to Kraken Base, Dr. Freeman, our 
Home beneath the sea. It's an honor and a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard so much about your part in the Black Mesa incident. I don't suppose Dr. Kleiner has told you a thing about me. I'm Elena Mossman, Kraken's director. Although we don't use formal titles down here. I'm just another researcher doing my part for the resistance. Now, let me get you out of there. Wait a minute. What the hell? He's back? Oh, fie. And it was going so well. I'll see if I can hold him. What the hell? I just lost Friedman. What the hell's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. That's it. I'm getting him out of there. I see him. Cut the juice. Gordon, stand back. I'm gonna try to break out this window. No! <laughs> Holy crap! Dr. Kleiner! Ah, Doc, you poor sap. Well, we're not gonna do any good hanging around here. Gordon, get out of here. We'll try to tidy things up and get Kleiner to safety. Oh, before you go, Gordon, you'll need this. You left this back at Black Mesa. When all this is over, I'll get you that beer, too. Now hurry, get out of here!
Eugene, my home. And so, when I see the shot, I have to have a cool way to parts of the
Terminus. Oh.